And so we come to Jonah 2.10. After this verse, we will be halfway through, or at least two chapters uh, through, the book of Jonah. And in my mind, we will be halfway through uh, the course in Hebrew that I'm doing on Udemy, uh, teaching Hebrew by going through the book of Jonah. Actually, we've had all of the main topics of Hebrew already, even with one semester. You have a critical mass of Hebrew already. Um, the main thing that we'll do as we go through the rest of Jonah, uh, Jonah 3, chapter 4, is we will work uh, more on the stems. We'll learn more about the stems. We'll learn about some of the little details here and there. And we will work on what are called weak verbs. Weak verbs, as we've already given you a taste, are verbs where one of the three core consonants of the verb is a little funny. Something's wrong with it. And in fact, in this, uh, not wrong, but I mean something a little more complicated, more CSI type uh, situation where we have to do a little detective work. And in this verse, 210, we actually have two somewhat interesting weak uh, verbs. A first olive in Vayomer here, and then a middle week with a Vayake here at the end. Well, see if you could pronounce this first line of the verse. Here's how I would pronounce it. Vayomer, Yahweh, Ladag, Vayake. All right, what do you recognize? Well, Vav Patak doubling, hopefully you recognize as a converted imperfect, as it were. The Yod tells me it is third masculine singular imperfect, and it's from Amar. Now, the paradigm, as you know, uh, yiktol, tiktol, tiktol, that's the paradigm for the imperfect. So this should be, I would have thought it was ye more or something like that. One of the, so a, this is a first olive, the first consonant is a guttural, and one of the things that several first olive verbs do is they do this holum in the uh, imperfect. Uh, and so that's a little weird. And that's why we call it a weak verb, because there's something weird about one of the consonants. And this is very common. Vayomer, we've seen it several times already in Jonah, and it's all over the narratives of the Old Testament. You should just know it. Vayomer means, and he said, or in this case, and Yahweh said, because it's typical in Hebrew for the verb to come first and then the subject. And Yahweh said, ladag. Um, so can you can you figure out what ladag is? La is two. Dog is fish, right? Uh, in Hebrew is the language where who means he, he means she, uh, me means who, dog means fish. <laughs> um, but what is this patak doubling? Ah, it's an article. Remember way back when that that um, when you have a preposition, article, noun, pop the the hay pops out like a pimple sometimes, and all you're left with is the patak doubling of it. So this is there's been a car accident. Er and the hay went flying. Um, so, to the fish. And then this, uh, what, what are we thinking about this? Well, we have a vav, patak, doubling. It is a converted imperfect. Yod, it is a third masculine singular imperfect. What is this word here? Well, the word is actually, if I remember correctly, ki, uh, kof, yod, uh, aleph. And the, the verbs that are middle weak, that is the middle of the three consonant is funny, are either middle yod or middle va. And what happens a lot is it goes away. So like if I'm doing a dun, 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 CSI, it's wrong, I mixed up two strokes, but that's not important, right? Um, I'm trying to do a little cr criminal investigation. That We've had an accident here, we've lost a letter, a limb is missing here. Which one is it? Well, uh, I, we know from other videos that sometimes a third hay goes away. That's not it. Nope, that's not it. We have to keep investigating. What happened here was that a middle yod went away. And so in, middle, in the converted imperfect of weak, middle weak verbs, the middle letter just says, I'm out of here. I'm, this is too scary. I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. And so this is an example of a middle weak verb in the converted imperfect where the middle vowel has gone away. He runs away. Uh, anyway, okay, so the rest of the verb, uh, the rest of the sentence, and we will be done with the first two chapters of Jonah. See if you can pronounce this. Here's how I would pronounce it. Et Yonah el Hayabesha. So the whole sentence, putting it together is, and Yahweh spoke to the fish, and he vomited Jonah to the land. 
Um, and here we have two, the preposition two. We have hey, patak, doubling. That's the. Hayabasha, uh, sorry, uh, is the word for dry ground. It kamatz hey, it's a feminine uh, word. Um, so it's feminine, singular, absolute. I'm sure you always wanted to know what the Hebrew word for to vomit is. Well, here, here you have it. It's, it's key. Kof, yod, aleph. Well, we are now halfway through the book of Jonah.